Hey, how's it going you guys? Sam from Otaku here, bringing you another unboxing. Ignore the open tab. We got more Dragon Ball Art Shikishi Best Collection. I think these are brand new. I literally just saw these arrive in my store. Bought the whole fucking thing. There's 16 of these babies in one box. Uh, cost me about $100, so that was quite expensive. But uh, hopefully we get some good shit. I, I mean, some of this looks quite familiar. Let me see if this will focus here. So that's a little preview of what we could get, Dragon Ball Art. Um, some of this, the Brawly looks familiar to me. Um, that's the only one on here that looks familiar. So let's just open it up and see what we got. We got Brawly right on the front. I don't know if we've gotten him before in previous ones, but we'll see. I think this is a collection of a bunch of them exclusive for North America. I did a little Googling afterwards. And it is a best of collection of previous stuff that has been released in Japan. So let's open it up and see what we got. I don't think any gum comes in this like the Japan ones, which is unfortunate. So here's a little bit on the back, 16 artworks in total. Um, we definitely got this one before and these two look kind of familiar as well. So I might have a lot of these already. 15 and up, Choking Hazard, thank you for comment, 5.95, six dollars times 16. It's about right. Bandai, Bandai Dakota JP, Bluefin, love the boys. All right, and let's hop right into it. First one, here we go. What's my best way of opening this so I don't bend it? I think like that. I think just... Oh, and immediately we get the cover. The cover. Very first one we open. Oh, baby. Look at that. The artwork on these are so beautiful. I will always buy these. If they keep making these, I'll always get more. It is just so nice looking. All right, one done. Immediately we got the cover. I think they're all Brawly on the front. So I don't know if that has anything to do with the new Brawly movie coming out, but I'm super excited for that. Next one. Okay, sorry about that. I had a pause in the middle of it. Second one, Cell. Probably my favorite villain. Uh, I would say, yeah, I, you can minus the probably. Definitely my favorite villain. He is the funniest villain and the best villain. So what else can you expect on the third one? Definitely the way to do it. Oh, the boy. The boy, Vegeta. I remember seeing at one point, oh, is this Majin Vegeta? Oh my God, dude, the, the parts with Majin Vegeta, oh. So good. So, so good. I remember at one point, I thought I saw an interview. Um, is his name Akira Toriyama? I thought he said he his favorite character was Vegeta. And like when Dragon Ball Super was getting ready to come up, he was hyping up Vegeta a lot. And then it was just the same storyline over and over again. So I think it was Golden Frieza. When the Golden Frieza movie or Revenge of Frieza movie was going to come out, uh, he was really hyping up Vegeta. Like this, he's going to get his time to shine. This is all off my memory, so I don't know how true any of it is. Ooh, Super Saiyan 3, Goku. This is one that I think we might have. I don't know if I'm mistaken. We might have one with him doing the Dragon Fist. Still cool nonetheless. In the case you guys are wondering, there's never anything on the back. It's just a nice, uh, I think it's like cardboard. So that one right there next to the best boy. <clears throat> this is number five. Five of 16. Oh, the other villain. So my all-time favorite move in Dragon Ball Z, we didn't get that upside down, by the way. That's just the, the position. He's just doing a roundhouse kick. My favorite move in all of DBZ was the spirit bomb because, you know, it was just such a cool, badass move. And it's like it required everybody to give you your energy. It was so emotional. It was amazing. Um, specifically, the fight at the end where, like, Vegeta has to hold him off while Goku's doing the spirit bomb. One of my favorite scenes, probably the whole anime. So good. Oh, see the blue hair? Got Super Saiyan Blue Goku. We don't have this one. He looks really like devilish in this. Look at this. He looks like he'd be Goku Black. He looks like, oh, I'm about to fuck you up, boy. He's like, yep, gotcha. He's the biggest smirk in the fucking world. Look at that. On to the next one. Number seven. Here we go. So I did find it interesting that the box says 16 artworks available or possible. And there's 16 in a box. I don't know if that means the box contains one of each 16. So this might be really boring and uneventful once we figure that out. But we have future Trunks, specifically Dragon Ball Super. Super cool. Uh, Trunks was the boy. I loved him when he first showed up. He was probably my favorite character when I was watching the show when I was little. Now I'm more of a Goku boy. But uh, what can you do? Here we go. Halfway point. This will be number eight. So far, no dupes. So this might really just contain every single piece of artwork, which would still be cool to have the whole collection. I've only read the manga for Dragon Ball Super. I'm waiting for it all to be dubbed, as I said in pretty much every video we've done one of these. 
So he was, the, the manga was very quick on this arc from what I can remember. So, I mean, I don't have as much left for him as everybody else does, but he's cool, you know. This is number nine. We have seven left after this and my math adds up. Oh, what a cool one. What a cool one. Krillin and Goku, both doing Kamehameha's. Super, super cool. I think, I don't remember exactly, but I'm pretty sure this has got to be early Dragon Ball, right? Or not early Dragon Ball, early Dragon Ball Z. I'm not too familiar with early Dragon Ball Z. Obviously, everybody remembers the highlights from like when Goku first fights Vegeta and then going to Cell or the androids. Uh, Frieza, every, I think everybody immediately remembers Frieza, right? It's like, that's the hype. That's that hype shit. But that's super cool. Super cool piece of art to have. I do approve. On to the next one. Ooh, okay, okay. The boys, Gohan and his true father. Gohan and Piccolo. Oh, so amazing. I always had a lot of respect for Piccolo. I, I feel like, you know, he always gets shit on, but he's a good guy. This guy, this guy right here is a good guy. Gohan, a little bit of a bitch, but uh, what what can you what can you do? You know, when your father is the most OP thing in the fucking world, what do you expect? All right, we only have five left after I open this one. We're getting close to the end. So far, no dupes. So it really might contain all sixteen, which is all good in my book. Makes the unboxing less exciting, but we got Android. 17 and Android 18, and this looks like they're... they're doing some cool combo attack. It almost looks like with the art, the way it is, it looks like it's like some fucking dagger he's holding, but, you know, he ain't like that. He don't use no dagger. That's that's some cheap tricks, but super cool. Not much to say aside from this, just to enjoy the artwork and say super cool over and over again. On to the next... We got Golden Frieza. So this is from the Super, Dragon Ball Super arc. I think, well, obviously it's from Dragon Ball Super because he's Golden Frieza. What am I saying? But I think it's from the last tournament arc because he has the Halo, right? I don't think he had the Halo in the movie. So I'm pretty sure this is from the tournament arc, which I'm just getting to in the manga. Finally, I'm catching up with the rest of the world. I'll be there one day. All right, and next is Young Boma. So I have not watched Dragon Ball. So if you think Dragon Ball holds up to today's standard of anime, like the animation is still good, the story is still really good, it's worth watching, let me know. I went back and tried to watch D. Grayman recently, um, and man, I got about 11 episodes in and I called it quits. It was just, it was too bad for me. All right. This is number three, so when I say number three, I mean third to last. Oh, I like this. I like this one a lot. Goku and Young Gohan. Oh, so nice. Nimbus Cloud. Man, what is Nimbus Cloud doing nowadays? Like, where is he in Super? You know, like, is the Nimbus Cloud just gone and just roaming the sky, just having a good time? R.A.P. Pour one out for the Nimbus Cloud. Bulma, you stay right fucking there. I swear to God. Everything's starting to fall over. I got too much mass. Okay, okay. Two more. Here we go. Oh, it's beautiful, beautiful. So if this, this is not meant to be sold as a bunch, by the way. You open it up and you can buy them individually. So I wonder if they're sorted exactly the same. So like if you show up to a store, I don't want to put ideas in anybody's head, but if you show up to a store and you go second to last, because that's, we only have one left in this box, right? If you can get this one every time, like the super badass, look at the foil on that thing. Double Super Saiyan 4, Vegeta and Goku. Didn't watch GT, but I can still appreciate it. Looks amazing. Played them in Budokai Tenkaichi. Or just Budokai? Budokai is the good one. I didn't like the free roaming one. I think it's Budokai I'm thinking of. Three where they have like all the characters ever. Played them in that. Love them. Here's the last one. So let's see. If this last one is, I think there's two really good foil ones. Uh, I think we're missing Ultra Instinct Goku, which is the only one that we're missing. Let's see if that is in here. Oh, I can see the hair already. So it looks like it does indeed have all 16 pieces in one box. So, and I would imagine if you go to the store and you see this on the shelves, you and it's open for individual sale, you could just grab the last two if these are specifically the ones you wanted. Um, I can't imagine them putting too much work into randomizing these. 
but super cool. I mean, we have this one before. I think we opened it. I mean, just look how beautiful the foil is on this one. I just got to the part in Dragon Ball Super where he went Ultra Instinct for a second in the manga. That's where the manga's at right now when I say I'm just getting to the tournament arc, which means I'm at the good bit. But I just got there. Super cool. Can't appreciate. These things are some of my favorite things to open, honestly. They are so beautiful. I need to take all of them and, I don't know, put them on a poster board or something. I don't know what you would do with these, but I have so many of them that I, I, I need to do some of them. I got to put them up somewhere. I got to pay respect with them instead of stacking them like a deck of cards, you know. But I'll get there one day. I'll figure something out. If you have any suggestions, link me. Link me something. that I don't know if you've seen other people do something cool with these. Let me know. And as always, guys, this has been Sam with Otaku. Hope you liked the video. If you did like the video, be sure to leave a like. Subscribe to the channel for some more future unboxings and some other stuff. Whatever comes down the pipeline. Jump Force is coming out. And that's really it's all on my radar right now. So as always, I will see you guys in the next one. Have a good one, everyone.